guys, Jenna Geary with Blackstone Labs back with another leg workout. We are here with Chris Fluke joining us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Kristen Graham, of course. Of course. Um, all right, so I kind of put together the workout. She added a little flair to the end of it. Um, so in one of the videos that we did this weekend, Billy talked about like kind of changing things up um, about the way that you, sometimes we go for volume, sometimes we go for strength, get a little sloppy with it. So today, we're gonna get a little sloppy, we're gonna go a little heavy. We are just gonna go through three basic movements and then end with one unilateral movement. So let's just get to work. We're gonna do some drop sets um, and that's it. We're gonna start with leg extension. So let's go beat up some quads. Let's do it. So we're gonna do a couple, two warm up sets, really get the knees warmed up here. Uh, and then we're gonna do like three working sets, 15 to 12, and then our last set is gonna be a drop set. All right, so we're going into the working sets now. So we're gonna do sets of 12 to 15 and we're gonna go up every single time. So I'm gonna try to get as many as I can. Oh, shit, if I can get 20 then, yeah, I'll be able to get 20. Don't make fun of my old lady iPod. I thought that too, right? It's an old lady iPod. iPod. <laughs> I still pay for music. <laughs> 129 a song. Yeah, this is not heavy enough. And you get all your music from Napster? <laughs> Shit, what's the other one? Sir, uh, LimeWire. Yes, that's <laughs> it. What's your, what's your MySpace song? <laughs> you want one? I've never had MySpace. No way on YouTube could even know any of that shit. I know. Um, if, it, if it's not going to be heavy enough, you can have music. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to go with the stack. See, it's the music. Fifteen. No, I did twelve. Okay. I did the most weight I've ever done on there. Oh, you're heavier. Okay. Come on, up, 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 up. Nine, 10, 11, one more. Good. Do you want that back on? Yeah, I do. You want heavier? Well, we gotta keep going up, right? Or? This, um, the last one going up and then drops up. Oh no, this is great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, so we're gonna do a drop set now, but this is the last set, so I'm gonna go up, because I just got 12 with a stack and a quarter. So now I'm putting a 45 on there, and I'm gonna try to go for eight to 10, and then I'm gonna do, sometimes I do one drop set, sometimes I do two, sometimes I do three, I think I'm gonna do two. So we don't have to worry about the pin in the back, but 
I'm gonna drop the weight and then go for as many as I can, maybe another eight to 10, and then I'm gonna drop it really light and just go until I can't go anymore. <sighs> Shit, the song is way slow. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Ah! Ah! That's my music, but whatever. Oh, it burns. Oh, my camera. Oh. Do I take the 45 off? I was going to say, maybe you're in the same hole. In the same hole? Yeah. I was in the same hole. Oh, that's too late. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I'll go. Oh, God. Ah. Oh. Uh, okay. Yes, yep. I don't yeah. want to enter on it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go as many as you can. Three, four, down more. Good. Two more, 11, 12, as many as you can. Come on. Oh, jeez. Come on. So next we're gonna go to pendulum. So usually like my rotation is leg extension, tack squat, leg press. I just touch what the workout is. And then we're gonna do what Kristen came up with. Um, but we don't have hack squat here. I personally like the pendulum better anyway, so we are going to do the pendulum. Uh, we're gonna get a feel for it. The foot position is gonna be different for everybody. Uh, you really just wanna focus on driving through the heels. I am gonna keep my feet a little closer together, uh, working more of the sweeps, because um, we did a lot of wide foot position in the last workout that we did two days ago. Um, and uh, that's it, let's get to work. One warm up and three working. We're not gonna do any uh, fancy drop set or anything like that. Okay, bye.
Three more, bitch.
sets of like 15, so we want a little bit of volume here, and then we're gonna go to Kristen's last exercise.
How many did Kristen do? 18. So you did 19. <laughs> 19. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so while we were down here, we also filmed a video where it was like glutes and hamstrings worked at tie ins. So check that video out if you have not done so already. But we are going to do Bulgarian split squats, which is one of the exercises that I absolutely love. The difference today is that we're going to hold the dumbbell in a goblet style, and we're going to bring our leg a little closer to the bench, and our chest is going to be more upright. That goblet style is going to help you be more upright as opposed to being bent over a little bit where it's going to work more of your tie -ins. So here we're going to be chest up, and then come down. Beautiful. It's going to really stay. Which we didn't do, by the way, we just talked about. Right. We, we didn't did actually do it in the tie-in video, but we did talk about it. Right. So, so now we're going to be about it. So we're going to hit that now. <laughs> okay. Wait, what are you grabbing? So, I know some people hold the dumbbell out front. I like to just rest it on my shoulders. And I'm gonna hold it like this. This is and how I go. So, it's two different styles. Whatever you're more comfortable with, obviously. You wanna keep these controlled. Oh, you know what? I will go over how to get yourself in the right position. So, this is basically how you get yourself in the right position to do Bulgarians without any extra pressure on the quads. I mean, on the knees. And then you start from there. And notice how all of our feet were down as opposed to like this. So we're putting all the focus on the front leg, none on the back. Also gives you greater range of motion. You can actually see, even though there's all the blood flow, you can actually see the quads engaging. And 100. All right, so the goal here is four sets of 10 to 12 reps, controlled, slower tempo, without pausing. Um, sometimes I go, yeah, you can go up and wait if you feel like you're able to. Um, sometimes if you're really fatigued after a workout, you can do them with no weight. I kind of keep my hand up nice and high, or like this, kind of Jamie Jamie style, and just kind of rep it out. If you're doing that, try to aim for like 20 reps, but these are a great way to finish off your workout, so make sure you try it. And make sure you range your motion. Like yeah. it's not, you're not supposed to be like this. And just so, just so that you can hold a 60 pound dumbbell. So make sure you're hitting the right range of motion and then go up from there. Right. We hope you guys like this. It was a combination of a butt whooping and instructions, yeah. which we know everybody likes. So, how do we like it? I liked it. It was really good. It was good. Um, blood flow, like I didn't know my legs could pump up that much. Can't even flex. <laughs> and I think it all really, it really all started with the drop set on the leg extensions. That's yeah. where we got the biggest pump. Yeah. yeah. But guys, like seriously, I really didn't think I'd be able to move after the leg extensions and like pushing through it and pushing yourself and knowing that you can push through that. That's gonna get you stronger. It's gonna build the muscle. That's what's that. Yeah. If anybody has any questions and needs any information about products, supplements, needs to be guided in the right direction, reach out to Christopher Luke on the Instagram. It's at underscore Christopher Luke. Yeah. Hit him up. Thanks, guys. Like, subscribe, share. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, leave your comments below, let us know what you think, and we'll see you in the next one.